Hey there, it's Steve from uh, my basement, uh, well, actually my bedroom, but I like to call it my recording studio, my little project studio. Today I'm going to show you guys how to uh, take your Apple iPad with GarageBand application. Logic 9, uh, this is just Logic Express, it's cheap. Um, and, I mean, I'd, I'd say 200 bucks, can't really go wrong. Um, I did win in a raffle as well. Anyways, don't buy your software. It'll just slow down production for newer stuff. But anyways, that's besides the point. I won't judge. But anyways, here we go. Uh, Logic 9. Ex this is Express. Pro will probably work better. GarageBand app. You also have to get the GarageBand app updated on your computer, which you don't even have to open it, but I think for it to interact, um, App Store, for you like 15 bucks or something, something like that. So anyways, so you have your, you know, your app here, and you have the new updated version of GarageBand. You also need a Mac computer with GarageBand and running Logic, which only runs on Mac unless you have a crack in Mac or whatever. Anyways, um, so what you do, I'll do it pretty simply. Um, it's going to be kind of hard for you to see. I'm using a lot of cameras. Um, Alright, so I just made a really, really simple beat. Which uh, I picked the uh, classic studio kit. It doesn't matter because it's just going to print out in MIDI. So, anyways, let's get uh, since they're both synced at 120 uh, BPM, let's just use that. Um, so, this is going to be eight bars of this beat. I mean, you wouldn't even actually, you could, I mean, since it's so repetitive, you could just do whatever you want, but. Uh, for the sake of the video, we'll just do this. Eight bar, it's done. All right, obviously, if you wanted your crash fill or whatever, you can just add that in as well. Um, but anyways, uh, your limited instruments on this. And you can also do this with, um, like, you could take the acoustic guitar um, and you could, you know, load a virtual instrument with the MIDI. So anyways, next we got to do My Songs. Click My Songs, it saves. Um, oh, of course, wrong button. Okay, so then you hit the little arrow. Now, what you want to do, you send it, you're going to send it to your iTunes, you need iTunes as well, obviously. Um, Alright, so you send it to iTunes, you're going to have two things, you can send it as an audio file, then all your drums are going to be together, therefore that's your drum mix. So, you're, you're limited. But if you select GarageBand, couldn't really see that, but I pushed the GarageBand thing, so now you're here. Now, go over to your Mac, oh yeah, obviously you'll need your cable to interact with your computer. So, it's been exported, let's go to the Mac. It's back there somewhere, but whatever. It's hooked up. Um, actually, I'll do the rest of this on the, uh, the recording on the screen. Uh, but as you can see, iPad is now connected to my Mac, um, and then I'm just going to go into while well, I'll do this part here. Go to your applications, iTunes. Oops, uh, my hard drive crashed yesterday, so another story. Uh, iTunes. All right, so you go to the iPad, um, then you're going to go to apps. You're going to sc scroll down until you see GarageBand. So, that was the one we just made. So we're gonna take that, we'll just put it on the desktop. Um, 